He's gone to the dark side. Hey, what's up, my peoples? MGO here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 3 0 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Lord Draken. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, here we have a lovely image of our Lord. Nice symbol right up front here, Lord Draken. On this side, Lord Draken. On this side, Lord Draken. Up top, whoop, Lord Draken. On the bottom, things, barcodes. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And you can open up the front flap here, and you have another nice image there of Lord Draken. And of course, right here is the tray in which the figure sits. And that's basically it for the packaging. Then, moving right along, here we have Lord Draken, Evil Tommy. Evil Tommy from the comic books here. And, uh, yeah, nicely done figure here from 3-0. Not without its flaws, but still, overall, a nicely done figure. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at his abs, but at his noggin. Oh, there's the Draken noggin. You can see the helmet here. And yes, I do have the helmet on pre-order because this helmet design is awesome. So yes, I had that helmet on pre-order. But anyway, um, really cool looking helmet. Really dig that. Nice gold. You got some metallic red in there. As well as for the eyes, for the visor. It's over there for the mouth plate. Overall, a really, really cool looking helmet. In my opinion, so much so that I'm getting the full-size replica of it. So, yeah, really, really cool helmet. Dig this design. And here you have the chest shield. As you can see, he is, you know, a White Ranger, Green Ranger hybrid. And uh, it's an overall really cool design. Now, one issue I have with mine, you can see here on the chest shield, you can see there's some uh, some kind of paint. Some, some paint runoff here that filled in these spots. They're not supposed to be filled in a little bit here as well. So, yeah, I got some. Not great paint. I mean, not a deal breaker. I don't care. It's not the end of the world. But, yeah, it kind of sucks I got a little bit of a paint. Some paint issues on mine. But overall, though, the uh, the chest shield looks quite cool. You got the symbol right there in the middle. Some nice gold and a nice green going on there. Of course, you have the bands going around the biceps. You got his morpher there with... The symbol. Again, some nice detail there, some nice paintwork. On the Morpher, you got the holster there for the Dragon Dagger, which this also has a little paint blush, a little, like, little spatter of green paint. Didn't know, didn't know. I can't itch it off, but you know, it's there, it's fine. Battle damage, battle damage, but anyway. <laughs> you got the gauntlets here, uh, done in green and gold. And moving on the body here, again, you got green and gold here for the boots. Got black soles. Of course, you have the 3-0 stamp right there. Onto the foot. And you got the dragon booty. And overall, a really cool design in my opinion. Now, as far as articulation goes, uh, the head is on a ball joint. You have all kinds of wiggly waggly. You can look up. He can look down. Head can do a full 360. On the arms, can rotate. But again, due to the nature of the suit, you don't want to go too far because you don't want to risk, you know, popping any stitches here, but you can still get a decent amount of movement. Again, if you just work with the suit and just kind of learn how everything is kind of moving in there, you can pretty much get him in any position you want. Got ratcheting outward movement there on the shoulders, which is nice. You have bicep rotation. Um, you do have a double jointed elbow, but due to, you know, the gauntlets here and the uh, and everything going on here on his arms, um, you know, you still get a good, a good bend there. Um, the wrist can rotate, they can move in and out, up and down. Um, you do have waist rotation, you got that ab crunch and arch as well. Legs and go forward that far, very squeaky back that far, outward. Good range there. You got thigh rotation, double jointed knee. He's got some squeaky joints. And the feet, they're on a ball joint. They can move up a little bit, down a little bit. You have some nice tilters. You do get some more range of movement out of the feet than you could out of the other rangers, which is nice. So up, down, tiltage, rotationage, and there you go. Now, as far as accessories go, uh, you do get the dragon dagger. And this is the same dragon dagger that came with Tommy. 
It's still worth taking a good look at here because it is nicely done. Nice silver, gold. Nicely detailed on both sides. So you get the Dragon Dagger. You also get Saba. Again, it's the same Saba that came with the uh, White Ranger. Again, still worth taking another look at because it is nicely, nicely done. Um, when I reviewed the White Ranger, a couple people were asking, um, no, the jaw is not articulated. It does look like, it, it, it seems like it is two separate pieces, but the jaw, the, the jaw does not move. But all in all though, still some nice detail. You have that blade there that can extend and retract. And the blade itself has some nice coloration on it as well. So there you have Saba. And of course, you do also get alternate hands. The ones that are on him right now are just the relaxed open hands. But you also get a pair of fists. You get a pair of weapon holding hands. And you also get a pair of playing dragon dagger hands. So you can just pop that in. And there you go. His fingers there on the buttons and then you put this hand right here and you can so you can do all kinds of that if you want now you don't get a holster for saba but you do have a holster for the dragon dagger you can just drop that down you can use a little loop as well but i never bother with it, it holds in just fine without it but at least you have storage for one of the weapons and there we have draken wielding his weapons and for comparison we'll bring in the green ranger and the White Ranger, so we can have a nice little family photo. Not really a family, they're all the same person, but you get what I mean. They look good together is all I'm saying. They look good together, so. There you go. So there you have Lord Draken, and uh, yeah, nicely done figure for the most part. Um, I do have some paint blemishes on uh, my copy, unfortunately, but not the end of the world, it's okay. Not a deal breaker by any means. Overall, it's still a really nicely done figure as far as I'm concerned, so. There you go. Now, if you would like this or any of three zeros other offerings, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There'll be a link in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my Power Rangers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the three zero Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Lord Draken. And this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, come in your face.